Kaiju number 8, my most anticipated anime series of 2024, has just aired its first episode, so let's talk about it. But before I get into my thoughts, I want to hear from you guys, so head on down to the comment section below, let me know what you thought of this episode, if you've seen it, let me know what you think of the manga, if you've read it, and while you're there, please do leave a like on this video and subscribe, if you're a fan of anime and Japanese gaming content, I want to see plenty more videos like this in the future. So like I said, this was my most anticipated anime series of 2024. The manga is really the only one I've actively read. Beyond that, everything I've read in terms of manga has basically just been the first volumes of certain series. And considering that I already love the source material, this is one of the few occasions where I went into something nervous in the hopes that they would adapt it well. And I'm thankful to say that with this very first episode, Production IG, they cooked. Now this first episode adapts up to the point that I pretty much expected it to be where Kafka becomes Kaiju number 8 and it ends pretty much right there. And then you get like a little bit of an after credit scene where Mina's called in um, because of what goes down at this hospital. So it pretty much, you know, covered the basis of what I expected it to and I think it adapted things really well. Now it's been probably about a year since I actually did read the first chapter. I can't remember whether it left things out, like very minor things maybe, but generally from what I could remember, there's no major stuff left out here. They didn't cut any content. It's just a very well adapted version of the first like couple of chapters. As a premiere episode though, it does everything it needs to do. It sets up the character of Kafka Hibino very nicely, sets up his budding relationship slash mentor mentor relationship with Renu Ichikawa. It gives us a couple of good action sequences which are very well animated and we'll talk more about that soon and also it does really good world building especially you know within the first like a few minutes or so when you get this kaiju attack that goes down it tells you pretty much everything you need to know about the general setup of the world where kaiju attacks are frequent. There's just like one single shot in particular that tells you this straight up without actually directly telling you where you have the traffic lights change to a specific light which has a kaiju face on it. It's minor details like that that just really add to the world building. Speaking of action sequences, that was one of the things that I was most concerned and most wanting them to get right because I think the best parts of kaiju number eight are the action sequences. As much as I love the characters, as much as I really like the story, it's not the strongest thing ever in that department, but it really makes up for it, especially with action sequences, and there's a lot of potential for them to be animated well. So that's one of the things I wanted them to get right. And right from the get-go, that first sequence with the Kaiju, the division being called in, it just basically said to me, okay, we're taking the action seriously here because this opening sequence is animated so well. It really well utilizes CG, and kind of blending those things together with 3D and 2D because you have the kaiju which is very much like hand-drawn 2D looking and looks absolutely fantastic but then you have the division coming in the helicopters now the helicopters they use CG but I think generally it's not noticeable it's very well blended into the landscape there's one specific moment slash shot where third division kind of jumped down from the helicopters and I think they used rotoscoping. It looks very rotoscoped because it looks very real in terms of uh, how the camera movement is and such. But third division dropped down, or a few members of them dropped down, and the camera's kind of following them behind as they drop down through the sky, do like a barrel roll as you would when you land on the ground. It follows them through as they go on to take on this kaiju. And that was such a phenomenal shot, which, like I said, probably does use rotoscoping because it looks pretty real. The money shot of everything that's adapted here is probably Mina being first introduced where she jumps out the helicopter, does kind of a flip and lands and then fires a giant cannon thing at the kaiju. And I think it did such a fantastic job at that, especially with the music kicks in with this guitar and it just sounds badass. It's a great introduction to the character that is of course a, a very badass character in this series. Then you bring in a tiger and such and there's just awesome moments in this episode. And I think that moment in particular is very much a money shot, money moment uh, within the episode, which I thought they did a great job with. On the topic of music though, it's great. A lot of the stuff you've heard, especially in like the early trailers with the guitar music and such, sounds as good as it did in those initial trailers. But also I noticed some kind of more string, um, like dramatic kind of violin music or maybe with trumpets and such, which sounds very Godzilla kind of influenced, you know, the old school kaiju movies, which works. This is a series about kaiju, and I'm glad that they're kind of taking a bit of inspiration there in the music where they're directly, you know, drawing a bit of inspiration 
from kaiju movies past. Voice casting all around here, I love. I don't know off the top of my head, everyone involved, I, I don't know the names of the voice actors because I think quite a lot of them, aside from Mina's voice actor, is relatively new, um, at least in terms of more popular roles. I know Mina's voice actress voices Nobara in Jujutsu Kaisen and I'm sure she's done probably quite a few thing, other things as well because it's a pretty like recognisable voice I guess. But the voices of both Kafka and Reino are drop dead perfect. I have no issues with them, especially Kafka's voice which I think is a, not necessarily a difficult character to get right but you always have a vision of how it sound and how he sounds in the anime is pretty much 100% fitting of that vision that I had when I was reading. I think my personal favourite moment in the episode and this is going all the way to the end of it is the tr first transformation of Kaiju number 8 and it's not necessarily the specific like him you know like all changing his body changing and stuff because they don't really showcase that but it's when the smaller flying kaiju jumps into his mouth and you get this sequence of animation that just looks really intense with like the eyes kind of exploding up a little bit and there's almost this like body horror psychological um kind of effect utilizing the, the ghosting of the animation and it looks great now that kind of stuff from what i can remember wasn't uh showcased in any of the panels of the manga so i think that's like a pretty much like an original interpretation, and it was perfect. From what I am seeing so far from this series, it is delivering on my hopes, my expectations. I really hope that they keep up this level of quality for the entire series, because we've seen many times before where the premiere is fantastic, it's got great animation, got great production value to it, and then as we go further on into the series, you can see the quality drop. But those are my thoughts on the premiere episode of Kaiju number eight. Before I get out there, please do leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're a fan of anime and Japanese gaming content and want to see plenty more videos like this in the future. Like I said earlier, head on down to the comment section below and let me know what you thought of this episode, if you've seen it. Also, would you like me to continue covering this series on a weekly basis? I'm completely down for it if you guys are interested. But as always, thank you so much for tuning into MChat today. I'll see you guys next time.